It is the lorikeets that have made Corundum Sanctuary famous throughout the world. What are you doing there, Jim? Mixing up the food for the lorikeets this afternoon. What is it, actually? I say it's bread, but what's the rest of it? A mixture of bread, honey and water. In the proportion of two loaves of bread, four pounds of honey and two gallons of water to each bucket. And how many buckets would you use in a day? Uh, well, yesterday we used 46 pounds of... 46 loaves of bread and 92 pounds of honey. Yeah, that's that's, a, lot, that's right? about average, yes. This spectacular display had a very humble beginning. When Alex Griffiths came to Corumban with his parents, he was a beekeeper and flower grower. The beautiful colours of the gladioli he grew attracted various small honey eaters to his garden. As they climbed over the flowers seeking nectar, their sharp claws ruined the magnificent blooms. The solution to the problem was to feed the birds their nectar in another part of the garden away from the flowers. From small groups of people buying flowers and stopping to watch the birds has grown the biggest tourist attraction in Queensland. It is estimated that over 600,000 people visit the sanctuary each year. The majority of the birds visiting the sanctuary are the rainbow lorikeet and scaly-breasted lorikeets. They normally would range over the whole of the east coast of Australia, following the blossoms of various nectar-bearing native trees, such as eucalyptus, tea tree and banksia. Now that they have become accustomed to the regular feeding at the sanctuary, they remain in the area all year. laws, if Alex Griffith were to begin feeding birds in his garden today, it could be stopped and the sanctuary would not be. As it is, however, the sanctuary is very much part of Australia today, and Alex has arranged that even after his lifetime, it will go on indefinitely in trust as a permanent, protective area for wildlife.